Hello and welcome back to informational compass. So we are continuing with the exercise 1.2. We have solved questions up till question number 19. If you haven't watched those videos, please go back to the playlist and you can solve them by yourself by referring the video. Okay, so let's start with question number 20. I'll read the question. Normally four planes in four dimensional space meet at a dash. Normally four Column vectors and four dimensional space can combine to produce B. What combination of the given vectors produces B? What four equations for X, Y, Z, T are you solving? So, this is the question. Let's first start with the very first statement that is normally four points in four dimensional space meet at a point. Yeah. Now, moving on, if we write vector B. Moving on to the next statement, vector B as the linear combination of the given four vectors what we will get, we will get B as, I'll write it down, it is 3332 3, 3, equals x 1 0 0 0 plus y 1 1 0 0 plus z 1 1 1 0 and the last one as t 1 1 1 1 yes so we get the output as 3, 3, 3, 2 as it is equal to if you try and multiply all these scalars in the vector you will get as follows z, 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 0 plus the last one would be T, 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 T. I'd request you to please solve it with me so that you will be more confident while solving such kind of questions. So, hence what do we get? We get P, 3, 3, 2 equals X plus Y plus Z plus T. Y plus Z plus T. Z plus T and T. Please verify it from your end too. Moving on to the next step, which means we now we are going to take the intersection. That is x plus y plus z plus t equal to 3 intersection. Yeah. Take the next one. Y plus z plus t equals 3. I'll write it again. Equals 3 intersection z plus t equals 3 intersection t equals 2 so this is what are we going to work with so this gives us we'll use t equal to 2 in all of this right so this gives us x plus y plus z plus 2 equal to 3 intersection y plus z plus 2 equal to 3 z plus 2 equal to 3 section t equal to 2 then we have x plus y plus z equals 1, y plus z equals 1, z equals 1, t equals 2 as it is. So, here we have, now we have z equals to 1 also. So, we will just substitute the value plus 1 equals 1 intersection y plus 1 equals 1. Intersection z equal to 1, intersection t equal to 2. Now finding out the equations, x plus y will give you 0, y will z be 0 and z 1 and t equals 2 from the previous steps that we have solved. Which implies based on y equals to 0, we will have x also equal to 0, intersection y equal to 0, intersection z equal to 1, intersection t equal to 2. I hope. I am clear with this step.
this implies x y z t will be 0 0 1 2 okay so this is a solution so what are what is going to be a result i'll write it down step wise so normally four planes in four dimensional space meet at a point yeah that was the first statement this is your blank then four equations we are solving four equations that we were solving are x plus y plus z plus t equal to 3 this was the very first next one was y plus z plus t equal to 3 the third one was z plus t equal to 3 intersection t equal to 2 so the solution for the above is x y z t equals 0 0 1 2 this is our answer okay so this is a solution for question number 20 moving on to question number 21 when equation 1 is added to equation 2 which of these are changed the planes in the row picture the column picture the mat the coefficient matrix the solution what what of this is changed okay so this is a theoretical based question i'll, I'll try and explain when equation 1 is added to equation 2 equation 2 changes to some other equation which causes change in the row picture the column picture and coefficient matrix however however it doesn't change the solution as addition and subtraction okay i'll write i'll write the statement down for more clarity so this is the direct result as well as the answer when equation one is added to equation two what happens equation two changes uh, to some other equation okay this changes this causes change in row picture column picture and coefficient matrix however this does not change in solution as addition and subtraction does not change it i hope i'm clear with this yes so this is our result moving on to the next question question number 22 i'll read the question If AB is a multiple of CD, where ABCD um, is not equal to 0, show that AC is a multiple of BD. This is surprisingly important. Call it a challenge question. Okay. You could use numbers first to see how a b c and d are related this question will lead to if a is a matrix which has dependent rows then it has dependent columns so yes let's start with the solution if let's start with the first statement if a b is the multiple of c d where a b c d not equal to zero then there exists this is the symbol for exist right there exists alpha belonging to 
आर माइनस जीरो सच दैट कॉमा बी इज इक्वल टू सम अल्फा बी इंटू डी तो लेट्स शो दैट ए सी इज अ मल्टीपल ऑफ बी डी दैट्स अ क्वेश्चन राइट मल्टीपल ऑफ बी डी सो हाउ विल वी डू विल कंसिडर द स्टेटमेंट ए बी इज अ मल्टीपल ऑफ सी डी दैट इज ए कॉमा बी इज इक्वल टू अल्फा सी कॉमा डी विच एम्प्लाइज ए कॉमा बी इज इक्वल टू अल्फा सी इन टू अल्फा डी एम आर राइट क्या विच इक्वल्स टू ए कॉमा बी इक्वल्स टू अल्फा सी इन टू अल्फा डी के जस्ट डिरेक्टली टेक द इंटरसेक्शन दैन so this is a equals to alpha c and b is equal to alpha d okay on this implies a comma c is equal to alpha c comma c intersection b equal to alpha d Which implies a comma c is equal to alpha c c intersection. Yeah, intersection b is equal to. Now what will we use for b? We'll use b equal to alpha c d by c. Can we do that? Yes. Which implies a comma c is equal to alpha c comma c intersection alpha c is equal to b c upon d. Which implies what do we get? A comma C is equal to B C over D over C comma C. This is our intersection output. Which implies, which again implies that A comma C is equal to B C by D comma D C by D. Which implies. A comma C is equal to C by D common B comma yes what will it be B comma D very good so this implies that A C is a multiple of B D yeah we have proved this multiple of B comma D so if we look at this result in the matrix form we can conclude that any matrix that has indip sorry any matrix that has dependent rows has dependent columns as well uh, and vice versa yes so i'll just write down this implies looking at this result this implies in matrix form any matrix that has dependent rows as dependent columns as well and vice versa so hence what's our result if a comma b is a multiple of c comma d then ac is a multiple of pd and ac is equal to c over d p comma d got it moving on to the last question of this exercise i hope you are clear with all the questions yeah okay so in the in these equations the third column multiplying w is the same as the right side b the column formed of the equations immediately gives what solution for u v w and th this is the system given to us 
so we can write the system as i'll just start the solution from here these are the equations so these can be written as as form of vector equation yes so what do we have we have u 6 4 2 plus v 7 5 2 plus w Eight nine seven equals to again eight nine seven. Got it. So since we notice that the last column is the same as the solution on the right hand side, that immediately gives us a solution U V W equals uh, zero zero one. And there is no additional computation needed. Right? So, what do we write here? Since here the last column is the same as the solution on the right hand side. Henceforth, uh, right hand side will be RHS. Okay. RHS that immediately gives us solution UVW equals 0, 0, 1, and there is no additional computation needed. Okay. So this is our result. Result is UVW equals zero zero one. Okay then guys so this is the exercise 1.2 solve for chapter 1 all of the questions have been explained in a very systematic manner so as to help you with assignments as well as assessments whichever you will be taking up pertaining to linear algebra as well as the competitive exams so please go through the solution for this exercise and uh, apologies for you know uh, delaying the playlist and I had received, we had received in fact many comments in the comment section as well as mails from many of the subscribers that yeah please continue with this playlist and because of this request yes we have started again and don't worry we will continue this playlist. Please share it with your friends who are pursuing bachelors, masters or phd any of these or engineering whatever they are pursuing and if they are requiring linear algebra in their studies please share it with them it will help them out you know to practice and it will boost their confidence if they are able to verify their solutions yeah it may happen in uh, for many reference books we easily do not get the solutions yes so we as a team, we are trying to formulate these solutions, trying to find out these solutions, solve these solutions. So if you have any suggestions, please comment. You may also mail us. The mail ID is there in the description of every video. Uh, if you need any solution for any of the reference books, please let us know. We will be happy to start with that as well besides this playlist going on. Yeah okay then thank you try and subscribe and please turn on the notifications and please help your friends also by sharing this playlist thanks a lot take care have a good day bye bye